Diabetes, which is pandemic to Jamaica, continues to be a public health crisis for the country. As such, head of the Diabetes Association of Jamaica, Professor Errol Morrison, is calling for more Jamaicans to take greater responsibility in managing their lifestyle. TVJ Shamela Pullen has more in this week's edition of The Health Report. The Health Report estimated 300,000 Jamaicans live with diabetes, a disease that occurs when your blood sugar is too high. Head of the Diabetes Association of Jamaica, Professor Errol Morrison, says based on several local studies done, that figure could be much higher. And the data usually shows that for everyone that we know, there's one unknown. So we may be looking at even a more serious problem than we're really thinking that we have. And I believe that too, because based on what we're seeing, on every day, new conditions just appear out of the blue, so to speak. People showing up with bad sight because of diabetes, heart attacks because of diabetes. They never knew before. In recent years, new drugs to treat diabetes and various types of insulin have helped improve the management of the disease. But he said they can't do the work alone. He says lifestyle management is a fundamental aspect of diabetes care. And that is what some diabetics have failed to understand. Which is how we eat. The sugars, the fats, the proteins... All that we and the drinks, all that we have, we need to be seeing these in smaller quantities more often because it's not that you can't have them. It's a matter of controlling how you, you know, ad, 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 administer them. Professor Morrison says local experts predict that if the condition is not properly managed, more people will develop diabetes over the next few decades. Instead of using the elevator, take the staircase. Instead of taking the bus right up to the home, come off a couple of stops early and walk. And as I even say to some of the patients, when they start complaining that it's raining or there are dogs on the road or they're afraid of going to the road, I say, look, you can walk around your bed. You just do some physical activity regularly, every day. We want to see at least two hours a week overall. With your health report, I'm Shamela Pullen wishing you good health. The health report.